Hello YouTube, and today I'm going to do another repair video for a Honda Harmony HR250 motor with, with the replacement parts here and for those who are wondering where these parts were ordered, these can be ordered at Power Sports Plus LC online where they sell off different parts for Honda mowers. And I'll pause the video for now and continue on with the repair. This way will show the replacement of the bearings for the wheel and one each each wheel for the mower requires two bearings and each bearing costs seven dollars from this place. So four bearings that's about $20 included shipping and handling. Replacing each wheel costs about $60, but when you get the bearings and the washers, is a lot cheaper. And these washers were made in Japan. These washers cost about $2.50 for each part. Here's the front left wheel remove and this is what the bearing looks like for the back side and this is what it looks like for the front side and again two bearings required now it's time to remove the old one and then put the new one in you can see how much movement the old bearing has here and here's the other side for on the front of this wheel. This is a aluminum piece that you can use to knock the old bearing out and you also require a hammer to knock out the old one. Now here's the new one removed from the package. Here's another view of it. Now here's the old bearing removed from the wheel, and again, a lot of movement with the old one. Now it's time to install the new bearing on. There goes the second piece of the old one. The flat side of this bearing stays on the front. You need to line up the bearings on the wheel and here's the second bearing that goes on this uh, side of the wheel. You are not this is the second piece of lubing that's used to install the bearing of the wheel using a hammer. Okay. As you can see, the bearings are now in place. You can see how straight the wheel runs now with the new bearings. And this is the grease that's being applied on here. I don't know how straight it is. Use a 14 millimeter wrench to tighten the bolt, but do not over tighten it. You can see that the wheel is spinning smoother than before with the new bearing. Now it's time to remove the left front side of the wheel. Now, 
as you can see, like the other wheel, these bearings are also loosened. There goes the bearing on the inside of the wheel. Now it's time to remove the outside bearing like the other wheel. As you can see, a lot of movement here with the old bearing. First off, line the bearing one side with the grooves here, and the other side, it's smooth. You can see the bearing now sits all the way into the wheel. Here's the inner side of the wheel, and as you see, it sits right in there, and here's the outer side of the wheel. Now it's time to put the wheel back on here and use a 14 millimeter wrench to tighten it but do not over tighten the bolt. You always apply a little bit of grease on here before installing the wheel back on. You can see how the wheel spins much smoother with the new bearings installed. Here's the part number for the wheel bearing. It is 91055VA4K10.